Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Onin de Guzman and our topic for today is Generating Patterns or Sequence for Grade 10, Quarter 1. Sequence, it is a set of objects which are listed in a specific order, one after another. Each member or element in the sequence is called term. So the terms in the sequence can be written as a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, and so on and so forth, which means a sub 1 is the first term, a sub 2 is the second term, a sub 3 is the third term, and A sub n is the n term, and so on. So, why? If we say we have limited number of terms, this means it has an n or last term. So we call this one as finite sequence. Example, days of the week. So we have actually the elements, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and so on, so forth, until Sunday. Another example, we have the first and positive perfect square. So we can have 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, 81, and 100. On the other hand, so infinite sequence, it contains a countless number of terms. The number of terms of the sequence continues without n terms. So, for our example, we have counting numbers. Example, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on and so forth. Another example is multiples of 5. So, I can have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and so on and so forth. Sometimes a pattern in the sequence can be obtained and the sequence can be rewritten using a general term. So let's have a sub n is equal to n, x raised to n, such that n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on and so forth. So a sub n is the general term or the n term. Two ways to find the pattern or the sequence. So the first one is finding several terms of a sequence given the general term. So let's consider problem number one. Find the first four terms of the sequence a sub n is equal to 2n minus 1. So what we're going to do is we will let n is equal to 1. So using the general term a sub n is equal to 2n minus 1, to substitute the value of n, so we have a sub 1 is equal to 2n minus 1, or the first term is equal to 2 minus 1, or the first term is equal to 1. Similarly, if n is equal to 2, substitute that in the original or the general term. So we have a sub 2 is equal to 2 times 2 minus 1, so we have 4 minus 1, so the second term is equal to 3. Next one, on the third term, so n is equal to 3. So that is why if we will substitute this to the original or the general term, I have 2 times 3 minus 1. So the third term is equal to 5. Finally, on the fourth term, so let n is equal to 4. So that is why 2 times 4 is equal to 8 minus 1. So we have here the fourth term is equal to 7. So, therefore, the first four terms are 1, 3, 5, and 7. Let's move on to the second problem. Find the fifth to eight terms of the sequence a sub n is equal to negative 1 raised to n divided by n plus 1. Again, for the first uh, fifth term will let n is equal to 5. Using the formula or the general term a sub n is equal to negative 1 raised to n all over n plus 1. So what we're going to do is simply substitute that. So 
the fifth term is equal to negative 1 raised to 5 all over 5 plus 1. So we have the fifth term is equal to negative 1 over 6. For the sixth term, we will let n is equal to 6. Substitute n is equal to the 6 to the general term. We have negative 1 to the 6th power all over 6 plus 1. So the sixth term is equal to 1 over 7. Next, for the seventh term, we will let n equal 7. So again, substitute 7 to the original or the general term. So we will come up with negative 1 raised to 7 divided by 7 plus 1. So we have a raised to 7 is equal to negative 1 over 8. And finally, for the eighth term, let n is equal to 8. Again, we will substitute 8 to the general term. So that is why we have negative 1 raised to 8 divided by a plus 1. So the 8th term is equal to 1 over 9. So therefore, 5th to the 8th terms are the following. Negative 1 over 6, 1 over 7, negative 1 over 8, and 1 over 9. Second type of generating pattern is finding the general term given several terms of the sequence. Let's consider problem number three. Write the general term of the sequence 5, 12, 19, 26, and 33, and so on and so forth. So again, let's list down the terms. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. So the given terms are, so the first term is 5, second is 12, third is 19, fourth is 26, fifth is 33, and the n term is a sub n. So let's look on the pattern. If I have the first term, so this is 5, so it means this is 5 plus 7 times 0. Okay, so it's the same as 5. While 12, this is equal to 5 plus 7, so this is 5 plus 7 times 1. Next one is if I have 19, that is 5 plus 7 plus 7. Or I can rewrite this one as 5 plus 7 times 2. While 26 can be expressed as 5 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7. Or 5 plus 7 times 3. Next, if I have here... 33, this is the same as 5 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7, or this is the same as 5 plus 7 times 4. Finally, if I have 5 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7, and so on and so forth, this is the same as 5 plus 7 times n minus 1. So, in the pattern, the number of times 7 is added to 5 is 1 less than the n term. So, that is why n minus 1. This is the reason why we got here n minus 1. Having said with we can say that this is the general term. So, if we would like to simplify this, so the general term is equal to 5 plus 7 times n minus 1. Distribute 7, so I have here a sub n is equal to 5 plus 7n minus 7. Or, simplifying it further, the general term is equal to 7n since 5 minus 7 is equal to negative 2. So therefore, the n term of the sequence a sub n is equal to 7n minus 2 where n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on, and so forth. Let's move on to problem number 4. Write the general term of the sequence 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and so on, and so forth. So again, let's list down this one on the table pattern. So I have here terms. Okay. We have the first term is equal to 2, second term is equal to 4, third term is equal to 8, fourth term is equal to 16, Fifth term is equal to 32, while the n term is equal to a sub n. 
So let's look on the pattern carefully. If I had 2, I can rewrite this one as 2 to the first power. So I'll use the exponential form. While form, this is equal to 2 times 2 or 2 to the second power. While 8 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 or 2 to the third power. Next, 16 can be rewritten as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 or 2 to the fourth power. Next, 32 can be rewritten as 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 or 2 to the fifth power. Can you see the pattern now? Yes. So therefore, if I have here n term, I have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 and so on and so forth. So therefore, this is 2 raised to n. So we can say that the n term of the sequence is a sub n is equal to 2 raised to n, where n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on and so forth. Let's move on to the fifth problem. So write the general term of the sequence 1, 1 fourth, 1 over 9, 1 over 16, and 1 over 25, and so on and so forth. So if we will observe that here 1 can be rewritten as 1 over 1. So I can rewrite that 1 which is equal to 1 over 1. So that is the rename uh, or uh, the new name of 1. Observe also that the denominator can be expressed as, okay, 1 squared, 4 can be 2 squared, 9 is 3 squared, 16 is 4 squared, and 25 is equal to 5 squared. So each denominator is an integer squared. So therefore, the n term of the sequence is a sub n is equal to 1 over n squared where n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on and so forth. So that ends our discussion on general terms. So again, this is Teacher on the previous month. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you.